Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lizzie. I post beauty related content here on YouTube. If they're the videos you love to watch them, please hit that subscribe button down below. Today we are going to be reviewing the Revolution Pro Regeneration or my phone just dropped all natural palette now this palette came out a little while ago i've just got a whole load of stuff that i just haven't had a chance to test so we are going to test it some of it is not new but hey ho we're going to get into it this palette retails oh i want to say like 10 pounds or something 10 or 12 i can't remember very nice neutral palette there is nine mattes and nine shimmers which means it's half and half we've got an 18 pound palette here i have not played with one of these palettes in a long time i am going to do a full face of revolution pro soon but this isn't going to be featured in that video so i thought why not do its own video so yeah let's just dive into swatches we have the swatches here it is gorgeous this palette i love the bronzy tones i love the deep kind of plummy shade that it's got there it is really lovely and you've got like a white icy shade and then a gold in a corner shade as well so if you're like me and you like a gold in a corner shade then you're gonna love it but if you like an icier shade in the in a the corner then you're gonna love this too everything swatched really nicely it's very soft very beautiful very pigmented so let's dive in to a look just put my favorite primer on the revolution lock grip so let's dive into this i feel like we should go in with the shade chestnut first Okay, that is lovely, that shade. Very messy at the moment because we're just building the shades up right now. I think I want to take this into like a soft pink kind of look. So we're going to take this shade here, which is called This Way. Okay, looking a hot mess right now, but don't worry because we clean up at the end. But I love that shade. I love what it's done. So next, we are going to take the shade Mocha right here, which is another pale pink kind of shade. Now that we've laid the base down, I'm just going to go off camera, clean up the edges, add some more pigment in, make sure it's all blended in well because the light is coming in from this side. This side might seem a little bit patchy, but don't worry, I'm going to make sure it's not and then we'll put a lid shade on. So I have cleaned up the edges, added more pigment in. Now I feel like I usually always love a gold on my lid, but this shade Bambi just spoke to me, this pinky kind of shade here. It just looks gorgeous and it will really give that kind of effect that I'm going for like oh no it's more it's not as it's got that like cranberry tinge to it maybe let's try this shade called sand mm, sand is below it and it's a bit more bronze it's not what I'm looking for you know what let's just go for Bambi I forgot the name of the shade for a second then let's put Bambi on the lid there is a lot of fallout with this palette, but do you know what? With how gorgeous these shades are, I'm not mad at all. Did you just see that? That looks great. What do we think? I absolutely love it. I think it is such a lovely shade. I'm going to go off camera because I'm going to film with these bad boys. I do also have a lip swatch video that I'm about to film. It's an MUA one, so, so excited. But yeah, I will be back. Just threw my hair back because I was doing like 
a testing of these face palettes that I showed you before. Just really need to film my final thoughts. Did my makeup, use the Honey Dream Me Up and the Relove Super Matte. These are a great combo. I pulled out my XX Cream Bronzer in the shade Candid. I haven't used this in ages and it's so nice. And I topped it up with the I Heart Light Contour Palette because it's more of a bronzer on me. And used my Reloaded Translucent Palette Powder. On my lips, I use the Velvet Lip Liner from Revolution Pro and Revolution Pro Strip. I didn't actually aim to get Revolution Pro on purpose, like I just picked it up, <laughs> but I love the combo. I just wanted something a bit more pink than brown. And now we need to put an inner corner highlight in, which I think I'm definitely going in with the gold called Macchiato which is hella pigmented. Can you see that? Wow. My postman just came because my Amazon parcel was left in another building. <sighs> Amazon really do me nothing at the moment. And I've complained and nothing. Let me just put some mascara on it and then I'll be back. It's half term so there's children screaming outside. I cannot help that, I'm very sorry. Um, Maybe it will stop in a minute, maybe it won't, I don't know. But let's just talk about this palette. This palette, oh my god, this is such a nice everyday kind of palette. I really feel like I could use it a lot. I do wish there was like another shade that was a bit slightly lighter than this. Um, that is the only thing I wish, but like it's not like something that was a bit closer to help blend it out but this blended it out fine this shade here so I'm not too fussed about it this has a nice icy inner corner a nice gold inner corner that gold is stunning like absolutely stunning it's got so many different shimmers i am in love it is such a nice palette the matte to shimmer ratio is really nice the color story is gorgeous it being called an all natural palette it is banging. It is actually banging. I'm not really bothered about the names Chestnut, Macchiato, Enchanted Sand. I feel like they're names that I've heard countless times. But if you guys need a new neutral palette, definitely pick it up because it blended like a dream. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please smash it huge. Thumbs up, subscribe down below. And let me know if you're going to pick up the palette. Bye.